Well, I thought tonight we'd do things in a little bit of a reverse order. I'm out here, camp for the night. I've got the backwoods bungalow out here. Just at a hunting camp. I'm going to hunt squirrel in the morning. But before I go out, or when I get back, one of the two, before I break camp, I'm going to kind of go over the new backpack with you that's coming out from Self-Reliance Outfitters that we've been working on for almost a year. And we've been testing the final prototypes of this pack myself and Corporal's Corner. A couple other instructors at the school have been testing this pack now for several months and it definitely meets my expectations and we'll be releasing within the next couple weeks and i want to go over the specs with you on that pack in camp tomorrow stay with me guys all right guys well it's uh 6 15. you guys the fire started here um it's my mess this morning it's all right so we'll let it get a little bit more daylight and uh I don't know whether I'm going to go squirrel hunting this early or not. We'll see. We'll see what time plays out here. I was going to show you a trick with this wooby to make it a pillow, but I've already got it on because it was cold this morning. But maybe I'll switch gears and do that for you too as well. And I want to uh, go through this backpack with you. So let me get this fire stoked up and get some coffee on. And we'll talk here in a few. Morning, guys. So here's what I thought we'd do. I thought we would skip going hunting this morning real quick and... Go ahead and go over the features of this new Pathfinder 35 to 40 liter Scout Pack. So let me get a close up on this bad boy so I can walk you through the features and we'll go from there. All right, so first things first, let's look at the pack itself. The pack is made from a 1000 denier nylon material. So it's made from the same material that most military packs are made from. It has military grade buckles, military grade strapping. It does not have an overly abundant amount of molly on it because that looks very tactical to me. And I wanted something that could be used as a backpack in any environment. It does have some molly on both sides, but it has very little on the front, which generally is covered up by the pocket or the flap of the upper pocket anyway. So I didn't see a big need for it, but we put a pouch on the bottom that's got a large Velcro panel on it. That's easy to access from the outside of the pack. And I keep my ditty bag in mind so that I can easily access something if I need it without having to open the pack to get to it. Water filtration systems, things like that would fit very well into this pouch. Now, on the outside, we also have two large pockets that have compression straps on them. And there's compression straps on the upper side as well if you were putting an axe handle in here or something like that. These pockets are large enough and deep enough that you can fit a full size Spetsnaz shovel in the pocket. And the entire head of that shovel will fit in that pocket. I generally carry mine on one side, just like this with the silky saw right behind it, or an ax saw combination, depending on what I'm doing in the woods. It's also large enough to fit a full canteen set go ahead and throw mine together from the fire last night the entire canteen set fits down inside that pocket so you've got two huge outer pockets they're not mesh they're 1000 denier material so you're not going to tear them up or destroy them on the back side of this pack you have a lumbar pad and a waist belt that's permanently attached to the pack. You have nice shoulder straps that do have some molly on them. You can see I have my pacing beads and my whistle on here. There's also a chest harness built into this thing as well. Let's talk about the top pocket real quick here in the pack itself. The pack is a roll top pack. Again, 35 to 40 liters. The inside of this pack is lined with the material to help waterproof this pack on the inside. It rolls straight down just like a dry bag and buckles over. And you have a lid that comes over the top of that to cover it up. And that lid is adjustable in height about six or eight inches so that you can raise it up if you're packing this pack out. There's a Velcro panel on the front of the lid as well, with Pathfinder written across it, but plenty of room for you to put whatever morale patch you want to on there. The lid 
does not have a pocket on the inside because I don't think you want to open the pack to get two contents you may need on the fly. So the zipper's on the outside on the top and in that spot, things like a headlight, compass, things that you might have to get to really quickly on the flyer when you get to camp at night, bag of steaks, things like that. And again, fully adjustable to about eight inches high if you wanted to. Now, talk about the interior of this pack for a minute because there are a couple other features I want to go over with you on this pack that kind of make it special. And what we did, you know, I've tested lots and lots of packs in my day. And I found a lot of things I liked about them and a lot of things I didn't like about them. And so what I did was I took the things that I liked about them and I put it in one pack. And the things I didn't like, I left out. So you've got a large bucket-style compartment in this pack and no inside pockets. That's the way I like it. I like to have everything in a dump. And then a lid that goes over top of that once I roll it down and cinch it up. There is a spot in here for a water bottle bladder or an internal frame. So they went through several iterations of material on this to make sure that it was something that was durable so that you could pull it out of the pack, use it for a sit pad, a work surface, or a kneeling pad in wet weather. And then you could slide it back in the pack when you were done to use it as the mock internal frame on the inside of the pack. And again, it slides right into that hydration style bladder sleeve in there and it has a velcro that clips it in all the way across and then you have that internal support on the back side you've got heavy duty padding here on the back side to keep it off your back keep it from sweating along again with that lumbar pad so you've got the, the addition of that sit pad or working pad inside the pack already you don't have to add it to the pack as a separate component and then the last thing we did here, we put molly straps on the bottom. There are drain holes on the bottom of these pouches on the side, putting water bottles, things like that in there. There are molly attachments on the bottom for bed rolls and things like that. There's one hidden feature on this pack. There's a zipper compartment on the bottom that contains a waterproof pack sleeve. That will completely go over this pack like this basically stretch you kind of see it now like this and that is multi-purpose because number one it gives you a rain cover for your pack number two it gives you a waypoint marker in the woods that you know where your last position was if you left your pack there and number two it can be used as a signaling device and then number three if you're hunting and you're carrying game out of the woods this orange on the back of this pack, in case you've got a game animal hanging out of this pack or off this pack, will help you in a situation where you're hunting and there's lots of other hunters in the woods because you'll have that hunter's orange clearly visible. When you're done using it, you just stuff it back in the bottom, just like that, tuck it all in, zip it up, and you don't even know it's there until you need it. Okay guys, so the proverbial question on this pack is gonna be, when's it released, what's the price? Price is $179.95, $179.95. It's going to release on our website sometime within the next two weeks. We'll take possession of these probably this week sometime, late week, possibly next week or the week after. Keep an eye on our website, keep an eye on our newsletter for updates, keep an eye on Corporal Corners channel for further review of this pack. He's been carrying it for about six months now, testing the final prototype. He and I have the only two final prototypes of this pack, so he can fill you in on what his thoughts are. And so if you just continually check our website, our social media posts, we'll be blasting about it when it does release, but it should be sometime within the next two weeks, guys. All right, guys, well, I appreciate you joining me for a video today. Just did a quick overnighter last night. I'm gonna go do a little squirrel hunt this morning as the light comes up and I wanted to get that review out of that new Pathfinder 35 to 40 liter scout pack for you. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, for our business, for all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. I'll be back with another video as soon as I can, guys. I'm going hunting.